while since Renault last built a two-passenger convertible. Before the creation of the win, you have to go back to the days of the R17. In any case, even during the time when the French car maker was known as an automotive innovator, rarely has it dared to be this audacious. The new tagline, changing life, changing the automobile, is quite fitting, and Renault has come up with a nice surprise in the creation of the win. This car is dedicated to passenger comfort. The wind is built on the same chassis as the Clio 2, but has been given the once-over by the engineers at Renault Spark. The boot has 270 liters of storage capacity, and the electric roof system needs just 12 seconds to be deployed, very similar to the Ferrari California, no less. centered lines are a clear indication of what we can expect to see from Renault in the future. On the other hand, the interior is more traditional and the instrumentation is very similar to that of many of the cars in Renault's catalog. Sadly, there is quite a bit of plastic and we do have doubts about the effectiveness of the air net. The wind weighs in at 1131 kilograms and can be had with either a 100 or 133 brake horsepower engine. There isn't much in terms of power, even though the least powerful engine, the 1.2 liter, does try its best. However, the liveliness of the chassis and the stopping power make the wind rather nice to drive, but it is a shame that the driving aids cannot be disconnected. Renault has gotten off to a good start with the win, but the hardest part is yet to come, and that is to make a Renault Sport or even Gordini version. <laughs>